Hi, Nick Collier here, and this is my shop. Come join me. We'll have some fun. Now, while Jason's over there drilling holes in these pieces, I'm gonna I'm trying to figure out how to get a three-quarter inch by one foot taper in um, in this uh, because we're gonna cut a, a hole in the center of it. Where's one at? So we're going to cut a, drill a hole down the center of this and uh, put a half inch pipe uh, thread in there. And a pipe thread has a sixteenth per inch uh, taper to it. So that's also is three quarter inches by a foot, which is, you know, the more accurate measurement. So we're going to, I put a dowel, a piece of dowel in here that'll give us a three-quarter by foot. And then uh, now, and I brought it in, uh, started it on this side. Can you see my finger? No, you can't. Well, started it on about six inches further back and brought it, or turned on the taper attachment and brought it up to here. And I've got, uh, you know, looks like more like a quarter inch. So we may need a little bit more angle. Let's take a quick measurement and see how much we actually do have. There we go. So it's almost a quarter inch. So we need to come out another hundred thousandths or so. And uh, yeah, I think what I'm going to do is just point you back over there and we'll make those adjustments. Okay, here's our adjustment screw and we need to just come oh, about another eighth of an inch further out. And I'm thinking that's about an eighth of an inch. Turn on the uh, tracer attachment, bring it back to one foot, one foot's going to bring us all the way back to zero here, and it looks like we're pretty much at zero, let's back this thing in a little bit. zero and take it out the full foot and it looks like we have 290 thinking we got about another 75 thousandths to go. Let's do it again. Now I was going to turn a taper, but then I realized I don't need to do that. So we'll just go from here, see what we can come up with. Three sixty. I think that's good enough. We're talking about, you know, we're going to cut a three-quarter inch hole. Well, now I'm thinking about it. Uh, this needs to be over here, and our. Uh, spacing or our contact needs to be there. So let's do this again.
Okay, we start at zero. And we come back and it should be three quarter. And it's almost nothing. But that's easily easily fixed. Yep, that's it. Okay, now uh, let's take it all the way back to zero. Make sure we're there. Just a little bit shy. And that's a little wide. But let's take it back to zero and see what we've got. that's a little wide. So I think we're there. All right, we'll be back. Okay, well, before we do anything at all, we're going to go in and drill a hole and make sure that our hole size is correct because we've got a lot of time in this little block so far. And by the time we get done, I do not want it to be the wrong size. So we're going to do something in aluminum. Let's get going. So the first thing we're going to do is take a general measurement of our of our bit or our cutter and I'm coming about halfway up so I think that's going to get us what we want and we're looking at 750 so three quarters of an inch. I'm going to start with 2130 seconds. just to give myself a little leeway. I think that 2130 seconds is not cutting very well. So we got some problems. Oh yeah, it just got chewed up at some point or another. See the tip of it? Ah, terrible. Okay, so we'll go to the next side. Next size down. All right. Let's uh, pull the drill bit. All 
Alright. Do the rest of this by hand. Put the crust It works better in this situation. Well, obviously that's not a big enough drill bit. Too tight. Huh? Yeah. We got a start, but nothing major. I think that might work though to begin the taper. So we've got 710 and our drill bit. Yeah, we need to go there. Now, interesting thing, this drill bit's never been used. It's brand new. I bought a set from a half inch to one inch, and several of these are not ground correctly. It's like the tail of this is sticking up. Can you see that? Let's see if I can, and if I rotate it around, you can kind of see that this backside is higher than the cutting edge. So I've had to go in and you know, they're not expensive bits. I still paid a couple hundred bucks for the set. Um, but you know, hey, grind okay, away. We right? got that drill bit sharpened, we're ready to rip. see what we got it looks like it gave it a little bit more room yeah so now it fits at the bottom of the hole so what we want to do is create that taper now <clears throat> we need to take this cutter and put a, a boring tool in there and that's going to be quite a challenge well, not as much as I thought. I just walked right in there and picked up the tool. Uh, it's a little bit low. Not much, though. Yeah, it's a lot low. Uh, if, if it was at this level, it would be fine, but now it's at the center. So we'll get a bigger one. This one could work. Yeah, that looks, actually looks pretty good. All right, so let's um, take our bit out. I think this is the first time I've taken this bit out. And, oh, I don't know, maybe forever. Jason here, uh, moving forward with the next step. We're gonna get these um, brackets mounted up in the, in the lathe and get his hole drilled through the center of them. So I got it in the jaw, the jaws of the lathe. I got to get it centered, uh, pull in this center point. We got our mark set. Okay, so if you can see that center point, that's how I'm gonna make sure I got it in center here with this marker. You can see it's just a bit out on these two. We're just gonna slowly move it in till we got our point in location
Okay, so now we got it centered up in the lathe. We got it right where we want to be it. We got the we switched the center point out to the the chuck. We're going to take a center drill. Put it in first, get us a nice hole going in there. After that, we're going to step to a half inch. Get us a, a little bit smaller than our final drill bit is going to be a 41 64th. And then uh, we're going to use that to go in and taper the hole and run a run a pipe thread tap in it. So here we go. Okay, we got the hole drilled. Next step is we're going to bring in the boring rod and set the taper and then uh, get ready to run the tap in. Alright, so here we go. Take a quick measurement, make sure we're where we need to be, and we look good. Okay, we got our hole drilled in the center, uh, we got our taper ran in off our tracer. So the next step is to put the, put the threads in it, and the plan calls for a half inch pipe thread, which we have the tap and just got to work it in there. Right here we go. Get my tap, get it nice and get some cutting oil on it. Helps it go through the metal easier. This is gonna take a while, so get it set in the hole. Bring my center in to hold it straight. Right to the back of the tap there. Get nice and straight going in. Work it in. Just want to use this center to guide it in center. You don't want to push it in. Makes it harder to cut the threads. Just a little pressure as you go. Keeps it straight. Get a few turns and you can take it out of the way. in slow. And there it is. Nice fit for our pipe. Okay, while Jason's over there uh, uh, on the lathe uh, working on this project, doing the uh, doing the uh, pipe threads in this part of it. I'm over here uh, creating, oops, from this side, 
creating the five and five inches, eight hundred thousandths radius on this part of the of the piece. So we've set uh, we've set our center, and you can see that here. Uh, it's got a little bit of a wiggle to it. I know why it's got a wiggle, because I didn't tighten this up, did I? <laughs> okay, so let's just get that wiggle out. There we go. So it's about a thou. I can live with that because these things are not accurate to a thousandths, they're accurate to two thousandths. And this part of the project is accurate to within, I think, 30 thousandths. So now, uh, because we've got a lip on the bottom of this and because we want to cut this whole section, uh, I'm going to set this up on a on a, um, a little pedestal and let's run it right up against that back side. There we go. So now uh, we're at zero here. So we want to come back. We want to come back uh, five inches. Um, what is it? Eight hundred and forty. That's so where we got to be. So here's our center, and about out here is five eight forty. Here I'll bring the uh, chuck down so you can see it. That's where five eight forty is. So it's almost to the edge of our 12 inch uh, rotary table. We'll okay, my line is right there. I've scribed it into the metal and I need to be, uh, get this to sit right on the line. And I'll also, if, I don't know if you can see it, the center line right there. And I made that with, this, uh, with the little scribe on my mill. So, so far, we can just come in and just wing it. I mean, literally all of these measurements are 10 thousandths plus or minus. So we've got lots of leeway. And uh, so we're going to come in with a square. I like my little mini square that I got here just the other day. Okay, so we'll bring that square right to the surface and we'll come up to our line. That looks pretty good. Okay, that was quite a setup. Uh, We've got three clamps on the plate. We've got our piece sitting up off of the plate by about a quarter inch or so. We've got two stops on the end. And the way we are going to put our second one in, and we have five to do or four to do, is uh, for finish, is to put a, a, a scale across there. And uh, yeah, that's good. And that's good. Uh, put a scale across there and get our surface. And then we have to go in about uh, 500 thousandths from here and create that arch. Now the question is, no, this isn't going to reach. So, We're going to need a longer one of these. All right, we're going to pull a radius from that and uh, see what we can come up with.
Well, we got a clamp over here that's going to hit. So let's um, let's come up with a smaller clamp. This really isn't holding anything. It's just uh, holding this this index in place. So loosen that up. The other side may hit, but we'll wait until it hits. 